You got a big stick. That's the good stuff to chew on, huh? Good boy. Oh my goodness, look at that. You just break that apart, don't you, buddy? Good job. You just tear that apart, yeah. Good job. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah, you get some more? Here's some more. With that one? That's a little piece you broke off, huh? You did great. Yeah. That keeps your beak healthy. You did a good job. Yeah, here's some more. Oh, you just got my arm. Okay. <laughs> Want this piece? There you go. That keeps your beak healthy, doesn't it, buddy? It does. Keep your beak healthy. Yeah. The good boy. Yeah. Yeah, I love you. Yeah, hello. Oh, so thankful for this nice warm Friday, huh? Yes, I hope everybody's enjoying it. Yes. Hello, handsome. Hello. Somebody closed their door, huh? That was kind of scary, huh? Oh. So pretty. All the doves are enjoying it too, huh, buddy? Yep, you and the doves and me are all enjoying the sunshine today. And pigeons. It's so beautiful. I sound like I saw a house walk and barked. Somebody's unpacking wood, huh? Yeah, it goes thump, thump, clunk, clunk, thump, thump. Hi, handsome. That is one of the huge new pigeons. Look how he holds his tail up. He's so pretty. My friend was telling me that those, uh, so those black ones down there, one's a female, one's a male. And my friend was saying, hi, the black ones remind pit, uh, hawks. Hi, they remind hawks of blackbirds. So that's why they don't get picked off as much. Yeah, and because blackbirds are, yeah, yeah. 
Because blackbirds, they bother hawks, don't they, buddy? They do. And, and the red one looks like a, the red one looks like a hawk, huh? Yes, so no hawk would want to pick on another hawk. So those pigeons probably won't get picked off as much, huh, beautiful? That's right. Oh. <laughs> You're talking. You're talking all about it. Tell me about it, Nemo. Tell me about it, buddy. Tell me all about it. What else, bud? Good boy. Yeah, I like hearing you talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go. You're so cute. You're so cute. So cute, Nemo. So cute. I love when you wag your tail. Yeah, so that big black one is that little black one's mate. Yep, yeah, they became paired. They're gorgeous. They're sparkling in the... And that red one that just jumped down, that's another roller pigeon. The roller pigeons are really big, but that one black roller pigeon is huge. But that's good. Hopefully they won't get picked off, huh, buddy? Huh, buddy? Yeah, that's right. That's right, pretty boy. Huh, Nemo? Who's the handsome boy? Nemo! Yeah, you want to go forage with them, don't you? <laughs> yeah, they're fun, you think. They're fun until Nemo's like, oh, I wonder what it feels like to bite their head. <laughs> yeah, just like a kindergartner wants to play with his buddies, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You talk to me? Oh, hello. Hello, I love you. Hello, beautiful. Oh, yes, I love Nemo. I love Nemo. You're a good boy. I love you. You're so beautiful. So beautiful. Yeah, I don't have a shawl, huh? Whoopsie. You talk about it? <coughs> Say, Nemo's a pretty bird. Nemo's a pretty bird. Nemo's a pretty bird. Say, Nemo's a pretty bird. Can you say that? Nemo's a pretty bird. Nemo's beautiful. Say, Nemo is a cockatoo. Cockatoo. <coughs> say, Nemo is a cockatoo. From Indonesia. Nemo's a cockatoo from Indonesia. 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 Can you say Indonesia? Yes, I heard you. You're a cockatoo. You're a beautiful cockatoo. Hi. 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 What do you think of the roller pigeons over there, huh, Nemo? What do you think of the roller pigeons? Are they pretty? Yeah? Yeah, we got Flynn yesterday, too, huh? He's a fancy pigeon. He looks just like a, a German owl, but he's got feathers on his feet. And he's got these beautiful lines on his tail. Yeah. Hi. What you doing, Neem Neem? Neem Neem, my little baby. Nemo. Beautiful Nemo.
sweet pity boy. Look at those beautiful feathers. Oh, they're so beautiful. <laughs> you pretty boy. You are pretty boy. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You beautiful. Oh my goodness, you are so handsome. Oh, you are so handsome. I love you. I love Nemo. Hello. Hello. Nemo loves getting a back rub. I'm gonna get my finger right there on that neck muscle and spine. He loves that rubbed. Anybody loves a back rub, huh, buddy? Yes, back rubs are awesome. That's why we got that massage chair in the living room. We love our back rubs, don't we, buddy? Oh, yeah, back rubs are great. Aren't they? Yeah, they are beautiful. Hello, good boy. Hello, good boy. Hello. You're beautiful. You're the most beautiful baby in the world. You're so sweet. Look at those pin feathers. I want to pop them, but then I don't. I can hardly see if they're ready. And it hurts you if I get them when they're too small, huh, baby? Yeah, they're so precious. You're so precious, little fright fluffy white ball of fluff. Oh, look at that beautiful wing. So beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. Yes, you are so beautiful, Nemo. Such a good boy. Oh, look at that pretty wing. Oh, it's so pretty. Nemo is so beautiful. Yes, Nemo is so beautiful. Yep, that's a good spot under there where you're your powder is, huh? Powder is a good place to... You like that powder spot rub because it gets all matted, doesn't it, buddy? It does. It gets all matted. This the spot right under here with all this powder right here is like a big matted mess. He likes it rubbed like that because it's a matted mess. It feels good to get it all unmatted, huh? You produce more powder than you can use. Yeah, it gets all matted, doesn't it, buddy? It does. It's a matted mess. Oh, yeah, look at you. Good boy. Yeah. It's all his powder. Oh, wow, that's a low airplane. But that's okay. We're close to the airport, so <laughs> it's common, huh, buddy? Yeah. It's a big airplane, huh, buddy? Didn't even phase him. He's like, yep. Before, when he'd come out here and see airplanes, he would just look at him like, what was that? And then he'd hop around screaming at it like he was scared of it. Now it doesn't even phase him. <laughs> you know what the airplanes are, huh, buddy? Yes, you do. <laughs> he didn't even know what an airplane was. Yeah, just like a little kiddo. Yes. Oh, sorry. He's just going to scrub your little powder spot. Yeah? Yeah? Oh, are you talking to the pigeons? Yeah? Pigeons are flying around in there too, huh? That's one of the German owls drinking from the water fountain thing. Oh, one of the doves is sitting in the food dish. Soaking up the sun. Oh, hi! <laughs> yeah, you jumped right on me to surprise me. I did a pretty boy. You're so happy. You're so happy. I love you. Mwah. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Mwah. Because you're beautiful. Yes, you're beautiful. Oh, yeah, you want a neck rub. Neck rubs are the best, aren't they, buddy? Neck rubs are good stuff. Right there on that neck bone. He loves that rubbing. and There's got to be some really good stress response in there to relieve stress right down here, too, in their spine. Where their neck meets their back. Oh, they love that back rub. 
Yeah, they love that back rub, don't you? Yeah, you like being upside down. Yes, you like to be upside down. You're so adorable. Yep, in that powder spot, Tom. Huh? That's a good spot. Those are the good spots to rub, aren't they, baby? This time, having one cockatoo is so much easier to take care of than three. When there's three, you can't really get super close to just one. So there's always competition. Yep, but with one, boy, you can sure get really close to them. With the three, I found that there's lots of jealousy. If, if, if one of them saw me doing something like this to the other, there would be jealousy, fighting, screaming. And they wouldn't trust me. None of them would trust me because I would be giving them all mixed, mixed, mixed signals. Because while you can do that with one, because they pair for life, you're supposed to be all theirs and no one else. No other birds. But when you're like that with one of them, and then they see you doing the same thing with another one, then they think that you have left them so they could take a few different approaches one approach is being aggressive towards you and angry the other approach is working even harder for your approval and undevoted attention and love and and the other one is they will always be competing with the other bird that you're showing affection to with cockatoos i find this is a little bit as well with cockatiels um, because my cockatiels are the same way, even though they're not as, they're not as big, so they're not as, um, they're not as, uh, threatening, and they kind of get over it a lot quicker. Plus, if you have a flock of cockatiels, which you, you can, you can't have a flock of cockatoos that easily, then, uh, they tend to, you know, go to either their part their female partner mate or their male partner mate. But like with cockatoos, when I had three, you you really couldn't favor any one over the other. And it seemed none of the three would get really close to you as well because uh because they were always they always were comp competing or or they were always, you know, just trying to have a peaceful home without getting hurt or attacked. So they all kind of backed off at some points. But Nemo is the only one here, so he and me can be extremely close because he's my only cockatoo. And I find that to be easier, even though I do still, once I am going to get a female cockatoo. And um, at that point... Um, We'll see how that goes, but two cockatoos, one female, one male. Hi, what do you see, love? Oh, you're so beautiful. You are so beautiful when you start to to show. You start showing showing how pretty you are and displaying. You're displaying. Oh, you're displaying so beautiful. Nemo, Nemo's displaying so beautiful. Oh, you're displaying so beautiful, Nemo. You are so beautiful. Yes, you are gorgeous. You're the big, big bird. Nemo's the biggest bird. And he's displaying. Oh, it looks like the black pigeon's looking at you from the corner there. Is that who you're displaying for? Yeah. You are definitely the big, big, pretty bird around here. Yeah, all birds are pretty, but you are the big... Oh, look, you got some females down there looking at you. Oh, did they... Yeah, they come, They saw your display. They liked your display because Nemo's beautiful. Hi. Nemo's beautiful display. Nemo has a beautiful display. Yes. Yes, you have a beautiful display. <laughs> you're a good boy. Huh. Yes, you're a good boy. That's that huge black pigeon, uh, roller pigeon. Hi. Oh, you hissing? You hissing. 
we've turned your head completely upside down. <gasps> there it is. There's your head. There's your head. It was upside down. Yeah. You're so pretty. Can you coo? Can you do it? Good! I heard you try. Yeah! Good boy! Good boy! They feel all their sounds. It's amazing when you watch them. That's how they learn how to talk, too. They feel their sounds. They feel the words. <laughs> good boy! That's a really good practice. He's trying to coo. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, that was just the stick hitting the door. Oh, yeah. She's okay. I think she fell off of the stick. <laughs> She's okay. Cockatiel fell off the stick. Oh, you're so sweet. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Yes, you're so sweet. I love you. He was concerned about the cockatiel who fell off the stick. Yes, you're so sweet. I love you. I love Nemo. You're so beautiful. Oh, yes, you are. You're so beautiful. Oh, yes, you are displaying. You're so beautiful displaying. Mwah. I love Nemo because he's beautiful displaying. Yes, you're gorgeous. You are so beautiful. You are so beautiful. Oh, the other birds are flying around. He's displaying his wings, too. Good boy, Nemo. He's so beautiful. You are so beautiful. Hi. I love you. Hi. I love Nemo. Don't chew that, please. Don't chew that, please. Don't chew that, please. You are displaying for the birds. And you're cooing. Yes, you're cooing. You're cooing and displaying for the birds. Yes, you're doing great job, Nemo. Just gonna poop. Looks like you're about to poop. You're a good boy. You did great displaying. Why are you shaking? It's nice and warm out here. Yeah, that's gonna be... You're, these are going to be falling out soon. Yeah, hello. You're so beautiful. You are so beautiful. You display. You di Hi. Hi. Yeah, hello. I love you. So sweet. Mwah. You are so sweet, Nemo. Trying to keep me out of the picture is kind of hard, huh? <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> Are you trying to sound like a dove? You did a great job. Yes, you did. Yes. Yeah, something like that. Kinda. Well, not quite. Not quite like that. That's good. That is good, but it's, it's very loud. It's loud. Yeah, it's loud.
Hi. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so beautiful. One. Hi. Yeah. Get it out of your system, buddy. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Good boy. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough. Nemo. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Nemo, you're going to make the neighbors worry. That's enough. Good boy. That's enough. That was very loud. Hopefully the neighbors don't call the police on all that noise. Okay. Okay. Okay, Nemo. Okay, step up. Step up. Step up. Step up. We're done. We're done with that. We're done with that, buddy. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, we're done with that. Oh, that's enough. That's enough. Oh, my goodness. Here, chew on a stick. Nemo. Nemo. Step up. Step up. Step up. That's enough. Give snuggles and kisses. You give kisses. Mm, I love you. Mm, I love you. That was beautiful. But it was very loud and scary. And, and neighbors might not understand all that noise. Okay? Yes. Mm, I love you. It was very loud and scary. Very loud. It gets so loud it scares other birds and everybody. Yes, you've got to be quieter. Mm, I love you. Yeah, you've got to be more quiet. More quiet, buddy. More quiet. Uh, yeah, no, that's an uh, uh, no, no, we're done. No. Here, have an orange. My orange? Here, have an orange. You are very beautiful and magnificent. You are. But we're not in Indonesia. And that was very beautiful display. It was very loud, Nemo. Very loud. I love my baby. Yes, I love my baby. I love my baby. Yes, I love him. I know. I know. You want to go out where you're supposed to be and be a bird, huh? I know, sweetheart. Yeah, so it was a very beautiful display of, of male cockatooness. Yes, it was. If I was a female cockatoo, you would be the most beautiful, handsome guy. Yes, you would. You would steal all the girls' hearts, huh, baby? There you go. Oh, yeah, you're going to chew on a stick. Chewing on a stick is a good pastime for a cockatoo. Oh, what a beautiful day. Yeah, you're beautiful. You gonna go take a bath? You gonna take a bath in your great big pool? Great big cockatoo swimming pool? Uh, somebody, uh, uh, um, somebody was just subscribed, called it Nemo's swimming pool, his new pool. I thought that was really cute. It was a really cute comment. Huh? Yeah. Wow, I'm probably run out of. Oh, wow. 30 minutes we've been recording. All right. We better end this. End this video. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to render it. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, pretty boy. That was quite a display we got. Are you just being a cockatoo? Being a cockatoo. A beautiful cockatoo. 
Yeah. Oh, wow. He was just mating with his female. Yep. Nemo's like, hey, I need a female. I know, buddy. <laughs> Thing about two cockatoos, they don't always know how to get along. Yep. Those roller pigeons hold their tail up and drop their wings. It's so pretty. There's three roller pigeons there. I think the brown one is a male. And then the big black one we know is a male. And the smaller black one is the big black one's mate. And then the gray pigeon in the back next to the white and brown pigeon. Those two are paired. The white and brown pigeon is a female and the gray pigeon is a male. So the gray pigeon is very similar to the rock dove, which is a typical pigeon. And the white and brown is called a, a German owl. Really cute. That's a dove cooing. You sound like a rooster. It sounds like a rooster, huh, baby? It does. Hello. You're like, you're holding that dang camera again. Okay, okay. Okay, no more screaming, please. You are a pretty boy. <laughs> pretty boy. You said pretty boy. Are you getting your voice? Are you getting your voice? Pretty boy. Can you talk instead of scream? No, 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 no. What the heck? What the heck? Huh? It's okay. Nemo, step up, step up. Hey. <laughs> It's a 12 year old young boy 12 year old young boy learning how to talk and learning how to bird and human at the same time how do I talk and be a human and end up and he wants to be a, a dove yep mimicking all the sounds you hear huh pretty boy you barking like a dog I would choose you not to bark like a dog yeah yeah, you're giggling. I hear you giggling. You're so cute. And I love you. I love you. Yes, I love Nemo. You're so beautiful. You're a beautiful boy. Yes. You pretty boy. Yeah, you pretty boy. Hi. Hi, pretty boy. Hi. Hello, I love you. You're giving hugs. You're giving hugs now. He's going between screaming and giving hugs. You're a good boy. Yeah. You're a good boy. I love the way the doves laugh when they land. <laughs> You're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. I love the Nemo. I love Nemo. Kiss, kiss, kiss. You're pretty boy. Hi, 
Mwah. He's a pretty boy. Yes, you're so pretty. I love you. Love your feathers. You are. Hello. You're magnificent. You're very loud when you want to be. You sound like a motorcycle, huh? Yes, you're so excited. Are you happy feet dancing? You got the happy feet? Yes, you got the happy feet. Oh, they're so happy. Yeah, they're so happy because you're so beautiful. Okay, no, 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 no. My ear is right there, buddy. I love you, but that's really loud. You have to use your inside voice. Use your inside voice, you know. Like you tell your kids when they're playing inside. You got to use your inside voice where it's quiet. Yes, we don't want to scream. Especially right next to my eardrum. What you doing? Oh, you saw your reflection in the mirror. Saw your reflection in the... In the glass didn't you buddy yes you did hi that's not another cockatoo it's just nemo you're a pretty boy